Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now, I think my darn, uh, what's its face? Uh, the Klein Star is pretty much done, so we can pop this into our inventory for pretty much unlimited flight time. Now, I was looking at some of the things that we are going to need. Well, I got some infusers so that I'll be easily able to you know, infuse stuff. Place. Thank you. I'll move these crystals later since they're not going to be needed as of yet. This seems to be providing enough Vs for some future endeavors. Nice pureness and everything. And if we pop some things in here, we'll probably get uh, good stuff. But Beside the point, we need to get uh, some more... Well, we need to clear this taint. We really need to clear this taint. Not just clear it, but we can have a huge uh, storage facility of all of the taints since a lot of our stuff will eventually use all of that uh, nasty tainted stuff and whatnot. Now, to do that... For the best way to do it, I think the best, huh, I think I said best a few times. It shows how much I love this system. Basically, the taint is spread out a lot across this entire area. Now, short of having some minor, minor miracles of like a mobile taint destroyer, I think the best way would be to bring all of the taint into one chunk. Now, way you are saying all in unison, I know how you do it, and then there's going to be those few people who have never played Thumbcraft before, but don't worry, I haven't really played it either, so I'll try to do as best as I can. There's something called a Brazier of Souls. The Brazier of Souls, uh, let's just type in soul so I don't mess up brazier. The brazier sold is made with extract of warmest fire as well as void ingots and a soul fragment. The extract of warmest fire I think we'll need a fire crystal. A fiery crystal, sorry. Fiery crystal will need a bottle. So glass bottle by the way, I've never made this before, so I might mess it up. Go! No? Hmm. To the interwebs! Derp. I need a water bottle for one. And I'm also going to need something that I've actually never found a use for until now. It's called the Shimmer Leaf. Now I'm just going to take one of them for now. And I'm going to need to find a blasted water source again. I think I should just uh, make a few buckets so that I'll be actually able to make an infinite water source when I come back here. So make those and make those. Okay, so let's go back to the overworld probably for our last little jaunt until I forget something, of course. Why is it always dark when I go here? It's infuriating. So, one water bucket and also a dropped bottle. Oh, oh, spider, spider, spider. Get the water, get the water, get the water, water. Okay, got the water. Run! Huh, <sighs> this armor can really take a few hits. Okay, back to age 98. Chicken? Chicken. Okay, and make a little water hole here for now. Yes, it could be done a lot quicker with a shovel, but by the time I pull out the shovel, it will be insufferable. Okay, got that for potion needs later. And let's try this. It's probably going to take a lot of yeast, but it's a good point to try the system out anyway. So a water bottle and shimmer leaf. Okay, it's going rather slowly because it's taking a lot of V's out of the system. 
But while that is um, warming up, uh, so punny sometimes, uh, while that's warming up, we'll need to make the other things for the Brazier of Souls. Huh. Why are there four recipes for it? Anyways, we'll need soul fragments. That's the least of our worries. The problem we have right now is the void ingot. The void ingots are rather difficult to create. Well, I have two void ingots. And seeing as they cannot be um, created through alchemical means, at least the EE alchemical means, oh, that's pretty well empty that's interesting since it can't be made through the EE alchemical means we're going to have to find another way to make them fortunately I do have my thomic dictionary with me right now and I see that it needs seeds of darkness iron ingots and quicksilver silver yep silver not sliver okay seeds of darkness I haven't made before now, I have good intel, though, that it needs to be made by a darkness generator. Darkness generator, I... Ooh, I have just enough void ingots to make it, so I don't have to, you know, mosey around everywhere looking for, like, handouts or something. Okay, three of these. Uh, Eldritch mechanism and the two void ingots that I have in my possession. If we put this here, this here, this, 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 and these here, we got our darkness generator. Now the problem is that it requires absolute darkness. Meaning, and also it for some reason needs to be near an eldritch area. So, it needs absolute darkness, so we're going to have to put it in an absolute dark place. And maybe have a little tunnel going to it so that we don't uh, mess with its mojo or stuff like that. So, time for a little digging a hole. And let's just start digging and see where the road takes us. Funny that it requires absolute darkness, yet these things produce light, you know? Okay, place this down and... It requires seeds, it looks like, and probably a heck of a long time, so I have no idea. Does this require Vs? If it requires Vs, that means I'm going to need to bring a conduit all the way over here to make it. Now, it has two slots. I should probably wall this up for a bit. That's my escape tunnel. Don't worry. Now, it probably requires V's, so I should get some of that. It's either V's or Taint, so I might need to bring both of them. And it has two things. It has a moon icon, and it also has another icon. Probably a darkness icon. Yep, that's a darkness icon. So let's get that done, and... Seeing as there was no progress whatsoever so far... It probably requires V or Taint. I'm inclined to say it will require V, because if it required Taint, it would be a little uh, difficult. Because, well, nah, Eldritch, from what I understand, Eldritch is an ancient race. So they might not be. Uh, exactly happy to use taint because it's not pure now that's just probably me pulling stuff out of my ass again so you don't have to worry about that however it might need a bit more research or it might need a trip downstairs because this might not be close enough to the eldritch area so I'm just gonna pull this out and go downstairs for a nice little fall. Please no fall damage. Please no fall damage. Please no. Thank you. And I didn't really uh, raid this place. So we have one more void ingot here. And still these things. So let's place this down. Uh, and for some reason it is very light in here. So we're going to have to make a little box of awesome here. 
At least monsters don't spawn here, huh? you know? It'd be annoying if it did. So put this in. Put this in. Put this in. And hope for the best. In the meantime, I think I'm just going to read a bit of the dark about a, the darkness generator since I am a little skeptical about this being the process of making it. Pretty sure it requires V's. Therefore, if it requires V's, I'll bring it back up and pump it full with V's until it calls Mama. Yay. Oh, bugger. That's all I can say. Let's get this thing out of here because apparently, from what I understand from some of my testing, don't worry about that, this darkness generator does not work at all when it's a full moon. Like, at all, at all. So it means that I will have to bring this to the overworld. Since, well, it's full moon here. It doesn't like full moons. As in, really doesn't like full moons. So I guess I'm going to have to make another uh, book to the overworld, I think. Let's see, do I have any spare books? Yep, I got some spare books. So I'll make another book here facing this direction thank you where's my book there a book right here and I'll make another linking book stand some wood will be nice I guess so three wood now let's get six wood four sticks Drop this. Got my stands. Now what to drop that? I'll get rid of this. Okay. I'm gonna need to make a darkness generator. That's a little un well, we already made the darkness generator, but we're going to have to go to overworld to use it. That's because since it's uh twenty four hours full moon, it will not work here at all at all. So if I don't move it, it's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to make some sort of barricade around a darkness generator that I know of. And not a darkness generator, but uh, this thing. Monolith. And I'm going to have to open this one up because I want to do this all underground. So two... Two V's crystals, got that. I'm gonna need an earthen and a vaporous. Spoiler alert! Down we go! Okay. Ooh, got one of these void interfaces and a lot of void ingots. Actually, don't mind if I do. Huh? Did some of them disappear on me? Probably. Anyways, still doesn't have enough. Okay, still missing one void ingot, but that's not too much of a bother. So, gonna need to make a nice little pedestal of this. make this room absolutely light free and give me a nice uh, space for me to work with gonna take that out because I want a spawn area that will be worthy it will be worthy mwahaha and I am absolutely butchering this entire place aren't I okay that, 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 okay. Got the room for darkness generator now, which will go right here. It will need seeds. Spawn area will be right here, right in front of that. Sorry if it's a little dark right now. I cannot do anything about that. So overworld linking book right there. Stand goes there. Age 98, linking book there, so return. 
Ah, <sighs> nice and bright. Okay. And this book to the overworld will go right there where I can place my little book. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, we're going to need a few more seeds than this. Thankfully, I've got a seed generator. Isn't that amazing? I thought so. Seed generator, activate with all of your seedy goodness. Cobble, thank you. And let's go back to our area. I think it's over here. Might need to name these later. And it's a full moon right now. Guess we're going to have to wait for it to not be a full moon. Ah, I think it resets it to full moon each and every time I move out of this area. So that will make it slightly difficult, I'd say. Because that would mean every time I go back to my base, it's going to turn to a full moon. Unless there's a different way that uh, XCOMP Wiz managed to code it. Though I'm more inclined for that approach. So I guess what I, I'm saying is that I'm going to have to wait quite a long time since I don't have my... Uh, can I make it? Watch of Flowing Time. The Watch of Flowing Time will take four Dark Matters, so I do not have the means to make it yet. I can make a watch, though. Eh, second best thing, you know. Make a watch of non-flowing time. How about regular time? Okay. So, while this is going on, I guess I'm going to wait in the overworld see what things I can take back to my base like all these filters might come in handy again eventually and the these pumps that'll be good and I guess I'll see you guys in a bit okay two bits of very good news news one number one is when going to my uh, age and going back here you can see that the moon is not full, so there's not quite a linkage between them. That said, I'm going to have to wait a considerable amount of time for that moon to uh, pass from being full, but it's time that I can spend on other things. For instance, I found a new recipe, thankfully. So going back to my normal overworld uh air quotation marked around base I can go back to my research room that I still use in the overworld since I don't have much research left and I found not the Thomic Crucible but the Thomic Enchanter finally it's a hard difficulty but it's a high success rate I also found like the traveling trunk which will be an interesting thing to create eventually but I've got other things to do since I can finally make this thing as soon as you give it to me. Thank you. Thomic Enchanter, let's see what it needs. Thomic Enchanter requires the regular enchanting table, the extract of purest magic, I know how to make that now, and a vis conduit. So I can finally make the Thomic Enchanter which will then allow me to make that um, other more less less tasteful yes it's less tasteful uh, where is it there we go the occultic enchanter which will need ec more extract of pure magic also a brain in the jar I'll need to get some more brains in jars but I can wait a bit longer so I guess I'll wait probably another good hour or so waiting for the darkness generator to actually start running but since I've got these discoveries in my Thomic uh, dictionary I'll just drop them in here and get all of the good vis and taint that comes from it so just drop these all in since I already know how to make them yay 
Also, I can might as well start on getting that cinnabar ore all smelted. So I'll just go back to one of my upgraded industrial craft furnaces and then smelt it away. Got this. Got this. And I'm getting killer lag, so I guess while waiting, I'll figure out what the heck is causing these lag spikes. And I'll get back to you when I generate some darkness. Wahahaha. Okay, finally got my very first seed of darkness from this. Now, unfortunately, I had to move my setup because it wouldn't get anything even though it was a new moon. However, I think it's because it needed to be next to one of these and not near one of those. Which is unfortunate since my book is now in the wrong location. But anyways, let's move on. Now that we have one of these and we can get one of our quicksilvers or many of our quicksilvers from here we can finally craft one more void ingot the last void ingot of its kind mwahaha anyways void ingots so let's see take this out put this in put that in and our last ingredient will be the uh... yeah Oh, we're also going to need taint from this, so we're going to have to put an output line on this. That's not too much of a bother, since, wait, if that's so, that means I won't be able to put it in here, and it'll need to be in the other machine. You know, I could always check this also. Forbidden, forbidden. It'll be Eldritch, and Void Ingot will be... Yep, it's from this. So let's put this in here now and put the other thing in if I know where it bloody is. There it is. Found it. Put this in here and finally put our last bit which will be our iron from here. Now it doesn't have the taint so that's the problem. We're going to need to get our conduits moving and make sure that the stuff doesn't get split let's see where is the okay so I'm gonna have to go from here and suck it up all from over this location like I have pretty much mirrored over there and I have it I want it to be pretty much exactly mirrored so one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six. So six moves from over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six is where our V's pump will go. Which we'll need to craft since I didn't pull the others away. So V's pump and it will also have some of these for added luck and let's put the rest of these conduits down so the conduits will go way over here and then up like so this will require one also that'll be good this will go up then it'll go down and then be pumped down like so. Thank you. And let's grab our pump when it finally gets made. Make. Now. It's probably somewhere in the system. Oh, it didn't get pulled. The wood didn't get pulled from this. So that's a problem. Why didn't it get pulled when it got made? That is troubling. Oh, okay. So it did make it. There was just some sort of hiccup that is not needed right now. So let's just make it. Okay, pump. Making sure I get it right the first time will remove that temporarily so I don't royally screw up like I usually do. And we'll 
We will need that, thanks. And arcane. Oh, it's there. Suck from there. Into there. Thank you. Put that there. And it should pull the taint from here. Though we don't. Do we need? Yes, we need. Okay. We do need some sort of pump thing. Not pump. Blah. You know what I mean. I'm so confused. Huh. So why isn't that pulling all the way? Maybe because it hasn't... Obviously, it doesn't counteract it on that end. It doesn't counteract these. Since it has a lot more suction than this is willing to provide. Obviously, because there's a break in there. So... We're going to have to make it by taking our advanced little vis valve there, take pure taint from the system. It still does not have enough pull. 23, 20, 20 19, 18, 17, 16. Okay, we're going to need one more of these on. So it'll now take the taint from the system. It won't be able to go down there since it's being blocked. So that might mean we'll need two more. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the the mechanics of this right now. I really honestly don't. It's confusing. It doesn't help at all. Did I mention it was confusing? <sighs> okay. So we might need two separate lines. A pure V line and a pure taint line. Which makes things very difficult when you have this that needs to be worked at. This needs pure V's and it needs pure taint. So that might mean it needs two separate feeds. But with like this, that's not possible. This is going to take a bit more thought power than I want to use right now. Yay. Okay, one thought that has occurred to me is that because it's a request system and these cause 50 suction when they're going, you know, 50 whole suction. So we only need it to get to that point because it'll provide the required suction to get to here. So we don't need this. However, we will need to take the excess and put it in so hey what's with 91 taint oh well it's not like it'll harm anything or anything okay take this and siphon off the rest of the stuff so this will eventually need to you know disappear and of course it's causing a backlog of some sort this is going to be a real bother, I'd say. So pull this. The rest of it. Obviously, it's still having a bit of a problem getting the rest of it out. So, I guess we're going to just need to use the excess by putting it all into here. So, heck, why not? Let's just make um, extract a pure magic since we will need them eventually so we'll need another glass bottle so throw the excess stuff into here yet again yay go over to our little swimming pool that we have here and finally be able to pick up the bloody things yoink we're also going to need shimmer leaves which isn't too much of a problem. And our crystals. Now this is just to pretty much bleed out the rest of the system. Since if we don't have any... Uh, if we have a backlog, there's no way the rest of the stuff can get in. Which is a very big issue. So let's get our last two... Uh, two shimmer leaves over here. Put it in here. In here, thank you. And it'll take the rest of the vis from here. 
hopefully. So it might take a little effort to get all of it out. So let's just uh, take this so that there's no added suction. And it'll just slowly pull the rest of the stuff out. Did I mention slowly? Yeah, very slowly. Also, the fact that there's a clog in the system somewhere. I'm guessing here and not allowing. Let's see. There's a 45 pull and 43, 2, 1, 0. And there's currently, I'll remove that. This is clogging up the system also. So let's take that out and that out. Did I mention how annoying this is? Probably. There we go. It's pulling the rest of the stuff out, going at an incredibly slow rate. Though it is going. There might be some way to speed that up. Maybe by just, you know. Huh, maybe. Maybe not. There's 50 there. There's still 50 there. doesn't work okay okay we got all the V's out of that system and there's only taint left so let's let the taint go through and still excess taint though there's obviously not enough to register and we finally got our void ingot thankfully now there's no return for this stuff so I might hook it into the return so that it'd be able to come back afterwards though that's not too much of an issue this has like yeah that'll work so at this point there will be a bit of a V suction obviously and if we hook this up to the return it will just send the rest of the excess stuff to its storage container so this will have like still zero taint, but it will, <sighs> if there's some excess stuff, it should return. Now that's a big should, since I have no idea how it will go. Let's plug this back on so that the rest of these Vs can be sucked up. Must be a more efficient way because that's going incredibly slowly. Let's see, like four Vs? Yeah, anyways. Got one extract. Got two extract. Let's make a brazier of souls. We will need uh, some souls. Let's just make two. We don't have enough taint, obviously. And the taint isn't, you know, going anywhere. It has a suction, so it is pulling the stuff back. So that might cause a bit of a blockage though eh. well I need taint so let's just throw this stuff to get taint this is going to be a long process so this will require a bunch of stockpiling of stuff I do have this taint so if I just temporarily hook this up it will cause a big taintness out of it taintness out of it huh I'm losing my touch we got no V's also. Hooray, hurrah. Okay, finally got those. We can shut up about that. And let's see. To make the soul brazier, it will need an extract of warmest fire. Thankfully, I do have that. And we got everything else. So let's just bloody well make this thing. Extract of warmest fire and a brazier. The brazier of souls. It's going to be a very, very, very fun endeavor. So put this here. And how will. Okay. Brazier goes here. Souls go here. It'll pull all of the nasty stuff over here. Which will mean that we can collect all of the nasty stuff by using this fun stuff so let's grab our wand of reversal and move the 
fun stuff over there. Uh, wand of Reversal, Wand of Reversal, Wand of Reversal, good. And also we can pull some more V's pumps from our system. I think we will need like one more. No, we won't. And get an input line. Now this is connected enough to the input so we can just bring our conduits, our lacking of conduits, over. You know, let's make some more conduits. Here it comes, here it comes, Blarg! Blarg! Come on, tell me you don't think that's throwing up. Okay, conduits over here. It will need a bit of a V's pump. So, let's put our bit of V's pump right down. Don't pull that way. Yes, I pulled that way, okay, so problem. Eh, <laughs> okay. So, it's going to have like a mega pull rate of 40, so we can drag this way over. It might actually not be enough just having that, so, yeah, it doesn't look like it's enough. So, pull over. And, let's see. Is this enough? Okay, it's enough to go into the centralized chunk. This will be where everything is getting pulled to. We'll put our V's condenser because this is where all the fun stuff happens. V's condenser with our added darkness. Where's our darkness? There we go. Add those in. And now we'll just need to put some taint crystals in here. Nine. You know, what the hey. Nine might be enough, but we'll need eventually some more soul fragments. So let's put this in and watch it. Now this will cause a taint effect. It will cause a bit of a taint charge. But all of the surrounding chunks' negative energy will come into this area. Now I could have picked a better centralized location, but whatever. So put these in now. This will take all of the taint from this chunk. It'll go very quickly since it has the Quicksilver on it. And all of the Vs will then be pulled out of here, into here, eventually. Just have to cut the blockage again. Uh, sigh, blockage. It'll be pulled, then it doesn't look like there's anything to pull it at this point. Obviously, because there's not enough suction. So, there's like five up here. One way to do it is to put a bit more oomph into the system. Oomph in the making of... What is it? Something. I'll think of something, you know? I'll just think of it, you know? Okay, stop saying you know because it's annoying, you know? You know. Okay. Okay, um... Obviously, there's not much of a pull. So, one way to increase the pull would be to increase the pull right here by putting some more of those uh, pumps. Not pumps, but, you know. How many times, way can you say you know? Well, you know, it takes a bit of effort, you know, because I need to say you know quite a bit. Ah, oh, and there's no V's in this system, you know, so it will be a bit more of a trouble, you know, since I won't be able to automatically make that stuff. So throw this uh, stuff in because it'll make the required V's to go into this system so that it'll go into here, make all of the wood. Because I need that wood, I will need a bit more stuff. Maybe just throw a whole crystal in. Or some more crystals than just one. And there we go. Got all the wood. All this stuff will get taken out again. Hopefully. Now I don't want to make some sort of loop into the system. Because pulling too much might mean it will pull the stuff from here. Which will be a bit of a thing to uh, contend with. So it might need to be a temporary pull. 
I will eventually have some way to uh, regulate the system a bit cleaner. Like maybe have a dedicated put stuff from the outside in here or stuff like that. So one here. This will pull the excess V's and this should... Hey, there's no ev not even a pump here. That's disappointing. Ooh, there's a pump there though. That'll be problematic. Okay. Gonna go back to the overworld, add a pump there. You know that time when you notice that your mic's not on? Not only that your mic isn't on, but you're not recording? Yeah, good times. Well, I put the pump that I got from the overworld right here, and also these extra bellows to help. I'm gonna have to do a few more calculations, probably, and also I'll need to make a few more uh, soul fragments in which we'll be able to keep this system going, pulling all the surrounding taint from the area, since that is out of souls. You know, using excess souls that I found around. You know, that's kind of uh, morbid. We're going to need a big v collection array as well, and we're also going to need to find some way to easily input all of the V's and taint that we get from outside environment because just plugging it here will cause loops uh, later on in the future. We don't want loops in the system, by the way. It's not very good. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Next time, I'll make a, some sort of condenser array so we'll be able to, like, maybe more efficiently take all of that stuff out. Because, you know, that'll be fun. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.